Hello and welcome back to Off-Road Yota Exploration. My name is Kai and this is my 2017 Toyota Tacoma. In today's video we'll be looking at my worn winch, why I chose it and more. For my winch I'm running the worn VR Evo 12S winch. And this winch is rated up to 12,000 pounds. I'm also running the worn Epic hook. The VR Evo winch is Warren's more cost-effective option and their answer to the cheaper winches on the market. Warren is a well-known brand when it comes to winches. They are based in the US and they manufacture some of their top-of-the-line winches here like the Xeon and the Xeon Platinum. However, these winches are almost two to three times the price of the VR Evo respectively and they provide about the same functionality, although the more expensive ones do provide some nicer features. Due to my budget and what the VR Evo offered, I believed it was the best option for me. Although the VR Evo is manufactured overseas, Warren is a very reputable brand and known in the industry for a reason. I have used this winch for over a year already and have had no issues and I'm very satisfied with the build quality and its functionality. This winch comes with a wireless winch controller, very straightforward to use. Hold this button to activate the wireless and then it's winch out or winch in. Also comes with a cable so you can hardwire it and this is also used to charge the battery in the remote. To operate the winch it is wired and powered so to take out line there's a clutch lever in here and we have to unlock it to release the line and then we can free spool out the line. Before operating the winch using the winch controller always make sure to re-engage the clutch and give it a pull to make sure the gears are engaged. When operating a winch it's always a good idea to wear gloves as the winch line may pick up debris and things that may cut your hand. To activate the winch controller, you hold the button at the top that says mode until the light turns on. To turn off the winch controller, you do the same thing again. And then we can push the top button to release the winch bottom button to wind in the wind. There's always a bit of a delay when you let go of the button as the winch has momentum. And then we're just going to slowly bump in the winch to tighten it up. To hardwire the winch controller, we have to pop the hood. The winch controller is mounted behind the grill, as there is not enough space right above the winch due to this bracket. And I was able to mount it here using a mount from Mano Mounts. The cables that are Connecting the winch controller to the winch are long enough on this winch to be able to locate it here without having to get an extension. And then the winch is hardwired to the battery over here. Over here we can see the cover, the plug to be able to plug it in. matches up with the end of the plug over here. And this end can plug into the bottom of our winch controller here. And 
There's a line at the top. It lines up with the button on the top there. And those go in right like that. And then when it's, you can see it's powered by the red light showing at the top. Now we can see, we can let some winch out and wind it back in. The VR Evo comes with a synthetic line that is 90 feet long, which is great and provides sufficient line to be able to pull you out of most situations, providing you have a spot to winch to. However, more often than not, the distance that I need to winch is much shorter. This results in most of the line remaining on the drum when I use the winch, and therefore reducing the effective power of the winch. Without getting too scientific, the more line there is on the drum, the greater the diameter that the outgoing line is wrapped around, and therefore less pulling power. To solve this issue, you can either choose to winch to a mounting point that is very far away, or to do a double line pull, which involves a snatch block or a pulley. However, these options require you to take a lot of line off the winch and pull it back in each time you need to use it. Instead, what I did was shorten my winch line to about 50 feet and carry the additional 40 feet as a winch line extension for when I actually need to do a long pull. This way, I have more pulling power in every winch pull and also put a lot less stress on the winch and the battery. When taking a lot of line off the winch, it is important to ensure that you leave enough loops on the drum so that the line does not tear from the winch. For synthetic line, it is recommended to leave 11 loops on the drum, and for steel cable, I believe it's about 7 loops. Therefore, I have used some duct tape to mark the point at which only 11 loops are remaining on the drum, so whenever I winch, I make sure that the mark is not visible past the fair lead. We can now see I've winched the line back in, that we have the mark just past the fair lead, and now we have about 10 wraps of line. And we can see at that point, the winch is pulling from the lowest point available on the drum and not wrapping around additional wraps. Okay, at this point, as you can see in there, we have the mark just past the fair lead just about to go onto the drum and we still have plenty of winch line left to winch at least to that tree over there the hook reaches all the way up to where this tree is we put a tree strap around there You can see we have plenty of reach to be able to recover ourselves but also not have too much line on the winch. I have some winch line extensions in case we wanted to winch to that tree for example we could easily extend the winch line to reach there or if we wanted to do a double line pull we could extend the winch line as well. That's it for today's video. For more details and a link to the products discussed in this video, please see the description below. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or would like to see any specific reviews, please leave a comment below. Get out there and explore, but don't forget to tread lightly. Cheers.